A former North Texas neurosurgeon was sentenced to life in prison for a botched surgery that severely injured one of his patients. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. This was only one case against Dr. Christopher Dunch, but he's accused of killing or injuring other patients through similar reckless medical procedures. Fox 4's Natalie Solis was in court for today's sentencing. She is live with more. Natalie. Well, Stephen Heather, this is something we simply don't ever see. A doctor not only convicted for doing something he did, for something he did rather as a medical professional, but sent away for life. And now it's an important victory for prosecutors who wanted to make sure that he would never hurt another person again. His defense attorneys, though, call him a scapegoat for big hospitals. Now, 44 year old Christopher Dunch was convicted last week of crippling Mary Eford, leaving her mostly confined to a wheelchair after a botched back surgery. Prosecutors told the jury about her case and several others where patients he operated on were either maimed or killed all within an 18-month time span. His defense attorney told the jury in closing statements, Dunch was simply the easiest target for prosecutors. Oh, yes, that's the relief, and that's what we wanted it for, that it could never happen again. Is it fair for, for Christopher Dunch who was enabled to do these surgeries, who couldn't have done it without the help of all of these big hospitals, all these other doctors. Is it right for him to go away, to be thrown away, when all of them profited? All of them have blood on their hands. And we are so elated about the life sentence that has been handed down in this case today. And I have my team here who have worked tirelessly. Now, prosecutors described Dunch as a neurosurgeon who chose alcohol and cocaine over his patients and even his own two sons. Now, several of Dunch's victims and their relatives have been present throughout the two and a half week trial, including the daughter of Kelly Martin, who died from major blood loss after a Dunch surgery. Now, as you might imagine, uh, after this was all over, a huge sense of relief for these victims and their relatives. They say even though this case uh, was tried for what happened to Mary Eifert, it gives them all a sense of peace and some closure and they tell me they hope it sends a message to other doctors and the hospitals that let them practice that this can never be allowed to happen again. Stephen Heather.